and it's a little chilly out there, Jay. You can see he's got his little sweatshirt on, his Ooh. hoodie and whatnot. Folks are going to be bundled up in the stands tonight. I feel like yesterday I called it cool and clammy. I don't know what I'm going to go with today. Just straight chilly. It's fall. Straight chilly. Yeah. The fall feels are back. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, hopefully he's going to be pretty good throwing out that he first will pitch, be. guys. He will. I know all the three news viewers are going to be going out there to Progressive Field, so we won't we won't go too hard on you for doing that, for missing our newscast. But here's what we're expecting here: is uh, the Guardian is going to be facing off against the Rays there at Progressive Field. The start time is about 6:10, so remember that it's going to be chilly out there, as I bet was just saying. Northeast winds at about five to ten miles per hour. So this is where we're kind of cruising in here for the rest of the evening. Low 50s, upper 40s expected across the region. Now high pressure. It has been slow to hop in the driver's seat across the area and Mother Nature and Lake Erie are just going to be the crossing guards right now because we're keeping the clouds around across northeast Ohio. Winds are still coming off the lake right now, so we had very modest conditions last night along the north coast. Only in the mid 50s here at Cleveland Hopkins recorded last night. Still a bit of light showers there coming across the lake moving inland. The bigger picture in your National Design Mart days ahead is going to show here that we have Elian that's going to be crawling back north along the coastline there in the mid-Atlantic. And what we think is going to happen here, I feel fairly confident, is we're going to have a trough to kind of dip down there late Saturday into Sunday, likely throw off a little bit of light showers across the, e across the area. This is going to be remnants of Ian, okay? So you can see as, well, as we get towards Sunday into Monday, that trough is going to dip back down and likely just nudge Ian right back off over to the east. And so that'll kind of prevent any sort of accumulating rainfall to get into the region. But it's also going to bring in some very cool temperatures into our area as well. Rainfall accumulations again likely going to be concentrated across the east southeastern counties here in northeast Ohio. So we are likely going to feel that bit of mm, maybe a few spitting showers there for Sunday into Monday. I don't think it's going to be heavy, but again, that chilly and with that trough is going to be moving in. Boom, going to kick it right back out. 40s, look at this. Worcester, you want to get into the 30s overnight tonight? Let us know how that works out for you. Mid 60s, you can see there, low 60s for areas east over towards Chardon and also Ashtabula. As we open up the show, this is what Betsy was talking about now. We still have Tropical Storm Ian, so it could get into the Atlantic Gulf Stream over the next couple days here, intensify possibly to a very low grade Category 1 storm, and then as it moves in inland, of course, you know what happens after that. It loses its steam. Pressure now at about 987 with a north-northeast movement, roughly about 9 miles per hour. Max sustained winds at 70 miles per hour. That is the latest on Ian. Here's your Union Home Mortgage seven-day. Take a look at this. Temperatures cooling down for the weekend. There's that trough moving back in here. You can see mid-40s waking up on Monday. High clouds moving in with partly cloudy skies for the heart of the week next week. Tuesday and Wednesday, look at that. Look at that. A little bit of a climb back into the mid to upper 60s. Then we'll kind of cut it back a little bit with some rain chances by Thursday of next week. A week from today.